Hi, in this video I'm going to be talking about how you can make your own beats. Now if you've been following this tutorial series, hopefully by now you know a fair few sounds. If you've been following the Beatbox With Me series, hopefully by now you know a few beats as well. But we'll get to the stage where you want to make your own beats and write your own routines. This video is just going to contain a few tips to help you out with that. The first tip I can give you is to listen to music you enjoy. Particularly when it comes to writing song covers, listening to music that you enjoy is the biggest inspiration. It's also a really good way of learning new beats. For example, if you listen to a lot of drum and bass, most drum and bass has that very distinctive beat to it. What you should do while you're listening to music is just jam along with it, like beatbox over it. Now you can either do your own beats while you're beatboxing over it, but you can try and learn the beat that's actually being used in the song. And once you do this, it's an idea to learn some form of beatbox notation. And that is, when I have those letters appear at the bottom of the screen, that's beatbox notation. And that's basically how beatbox is written down. If you learn some form of notation, even if it's very simple, B for kick, T for hi-hat, K for any snare, that's fine, that's still something to work with. Once you've learned notation, write the beats down. There have been so, so many times where I've come up with something really brilliant, not written it down, and then afterwards not been able to remember it. And in that same sort of area, it's an idea whenever you're freestyling to record it. Now, as for freestyling, it's very, very hard to give any advice on that because by its nature, it's unplanned. It's not really something you can help out with. Um, you can't really teach creativity. What I found helpful at the very beginning of my beatboxing path was to start with something very, very simple and build up on it. For example, While it may not sound fantastic, it's still something new. I've got this all recorded, obviously, on the camera there, so if I do decide later on, that sounded really, really good, I can listen to it back and write down the notation for it. It's also an idea to try using different sounds. I have a habit of using the kick, hi-hat, and with snare a lot. So when you are beatboxing on your favorite music, or when you are writing down beats, try challenging yourself. Try saying to yourself, I'm only gonna use the kick drum, the hi-hat, and the classic snare. Try saying, I'm only going to use inward sounds for this. Try saying, I'm going to use sounds I've never done before for this. It's a great experiment. It's a really good way of practicing certain sounds. Also, beats sound very, very different depending on what sounds you use. For example, it sounds completely different to Well, I hope this video has helped. I hope it's given you some inspiration. Peace out.